Hi, it's Michelle. Welcome to Six Things More or Less. Today, we're gonna to try something a little bit different. Everyone is scared of their first time. <laughs> Trying a new recipe! That's one of the reasons that we look to great sources for recipes. And one of my favorite sources is the Wednesday section of the New York Times called Food. It's where I find recipes that let me try out new flavor palettes, new ethnic cuisines, different techniques, and I thought it would be really fun if today I tried out a brand new recipe for the very first time on camera with you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of brand new episodes. So today I, along with my trusty New York Times, am going to cook a whole fish for the very first time. Now this isn't technically a whole fish because my fishmonger cut the tail off, which I'm super bummed about because I wanted it to look exactly like the picture in the New York Times, but it's fun. My six things today are my red snapper, citrus, which is lemon, lime, and orange that I'm gonna use in varying quantities according to the recipe. Cilantro. I'm using canola oil today. I know I usually use olive oil, but today I'm using canola oil because it says that in the recipe. So I always start a recipe by doing exactly uh, what it says in the recipe. And then later I feel like I can branch out and do what I want. So it says canola oil, so I'm using canola oil. Tamari. I'm using uh, tamari instead of soy sauce because it's gluten free. And butter and a little bit of salt and pepper. I had the fishmonger pull all the scales off of the skin so it's smoother. They gut it and then they take the fins off. I am going to wash it because I like to wash meat, fish, chicken, anything that I'm gonna cook. I like to give it a nice rinse, not wash. I don't wash it with soap. So let's go to the sink and give this guy a little bath. Dry him off. Wow, look at those teeth. So when I was a kid in Italy, my grandmother, when we would go out to dinner, would always ask the waiter to bring her her fish before they cooked it because she wanted to look it in the eye, right? So the guy would bring, you know, the thing out and my grandmother would, you know, pick up the raw fish and literally look it in the eye. And it was because if the fish's eye is cloudy, then the fish is old. But that's a good reason to cook a whole fish because you know how new your fish is and how fresh it is. Let's look at our recipe. A little secret I'll let you in on, I can't see anything without my glasses. Overcome your trepidation about cooking a fish whole. That's what made me excited about this recipe. I'm supposed to heat the oven to 425 degrees. This is where it starts to get scary. Okay, I'm supposed to make incisions diagonally on this fish. Shallow, two and a half to three inches long, inch and a half apart. I'm gonna season this inside and out with salt and pepper. So inside and out. Okay, let's put this baby in the pan. A little light on this subject. Canola oil measures the same way that olive oil does. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Now let's turn this on a medium heat. So we're gonna let our oil heat up to a really high temperature, which is why I think they have us using canola oil instead of olive oil. Because you can heat canola oil to a much hotter temperature than you can olive oil before it starts to smoke. So we're gonna put that fish into a very hot pan because it will sear in the flavors and also because it's got uh, salt and pepper on the outside, it's gonna make a nice crust. And it asks for a ceramic pan or a pan that you can go from stovetop into your oven. So we're using a Le Creuset pan today. You wanna use whatever pan you have that can withstand an oven temperature of 425 degrees. Ooh. Press down with my tongue and searing all that skin. Flip it over. And now I'm going to slice up my citrus. My lemons, my orange, 
my lime. And I'm just gonna place some of this citrus inside the fish cavity. Put a few in here. We're gonna put a few in the pan as well. Four tablespoons of butter. <laughs> It's gonna be delicious. We could eat the pan with four tablespoons of butter in it and be delicious. Put that right on that fish. Two tablespoons of tamari. I'm gonna put this back on the stove for a minute to let this butter foam up. That looks delicious. Oh, this pan is so heavy. So it's in the oven at 425 degrees, and it says 15 to 18 minutes. So I'm gonna split the difference and do 16. While that is baking in the oven, I'm gonna chop up some cilantro, which I have already pre-washed and dried. You could use parsley here too, according to the recipe. I'm gonna squeeze a couple of limes. Oh, you know what would be really good with this is margaritas. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that looks really good. Whoa, look at that. Wow, so the salt and the citrus and the butter and the soy sauce has made a really lovely sauce. Allison Roman, who is the cook and author and food writer whose recipe this is in the New York Times, says that she doesn't fillet her fish when she eats it, she just has her friends pick at it with a fork and then flip it over and pick at it with a fork on the other side. But I really want to try filleting a fish. I've never done it before. And it's one of the reasons I've been really scared of cooking a whole fish is because I'm nervous about the bones. So I really want to try and see if I can do it. I want to be careful about picking this baby up because it's cooked. So it's softer than it was when I put it in there. Oops. That wasn't in the recipe. Come on, you can do it. <gasps> ah. So here's a little tip for you, for me. I learned this when I was working in a professional kitchen. Don't feel bad if you're spilling sauce all over the place. There's a really nifty way to fix that. It's called paper towel. Dress it. Put a little bit of lime juice on there in those little slats that I made, and then just dress it with the lemons and oranges that I cut from before. This is how I'm going to bring it to the table, and then I'm gonna show you the nitty gritty of me trying to actually flay this fish. But with cooking, as most things in life, we must celebrate the victories before we head into the next battle. So, I think we did pretty well today. What do you guys think? From the sublime to the ridiculous. Let's watch me try and <laughs> fillet this fish. I do know how it's done. I've just never actually done it. You're supposed to cut the head on a diagonal. One of the reasons that it's scary to venture into the whole fish category is how many bones these babies have when the fish are made into fillets in the store and all the bones are removed, it's a lot easier to cook them, it's a lot easier to deal with them, but it's never gonna taste as good as the meat inside this fish. This is really good. I definitely want my margarita. Thanks for watching this episode of Six Things More or Less. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. Hit the notification bell to be notified of future episodes. And if you're ready to watch another episode, click the video. And never, never, never waste food. <laughs>